Hello everyone, this is Pro Warriors. The PlayStation 3 remains one of the most sought-after consoles, known for its unique and exclusive games. If you want to play PS3 games on a PC, our PCS3 is the go-to emulator. However, until now, there hasn't been a reliable option for Android. Recently, a new emulator called APS3E has emerged, aiming to bring PS3 emulation to Android devices. But here's the real question. Can it handle high-end titles like Uncharted or God of War without major issues? Stick around, because what I found out about its performance and game compatibility will definitely surprise you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to stay updated. Let's jump in. Before we dive in, let me introduce APS3E, a brand new PlayStation 3 emulator based on RPCS3, the leading PS3 emulator for PC. APS3 stands apart from other PS3 emulators like Anstation 3 and Olympus. And Station 3 suffers from issues that some users dislike, such as large file sizes and a complicated installation process. On the other hand, Olympus lacks touch controls, and third-party controllers don't work properly. APS-3E resolves all these issues. Now let's talk about the system requirements for APS-3E. At a minimum, a quad-core ARM processor, 4 GB RAM, Vulkan slash OpenGL ES 3.1 GPU, and enough storage. For best performance, an octa-core processor, 6 GB plus RAM, high-end Vulkan GPU. Let's jump into the emulator. I'll show you how to download and install it at the end of the video. This emulator is lightweight and has a simple UI. The game list is currently empty since I'm trying it for the first time, but don't worry, it's not a fake app. By tapping the three dots, you'll find several options, including install firmware and install ISO or PKG, meaning it supports both game formats. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Let's install the firmware, which is an essential component for running PS3 games. Fortunately, the PlayStation 3 firmware is available on PlayStation's official website, so you can easily download it. Make sure your internet connection is stable to avoid any interruptions during the process. Once downloaded, click on Install Firmware and navigate to the folder where the file is stored, most likely in the Downloads folder. The installation will start immediately and be completed within seconds. Let's add games. Simply click on Install ISO or PKG and navigate to the folder where your games are stored. I have a few games that I own, and you can even play high-end titles, so there's no need to worry about performance. Once selected, the game will start booting. This emulator comes with a built-in touchscreen controller, making it easy to play without an external gamepad. Now let's see how to download the emulator. A PS3 EPS3 emulator is an open source project available on GitHub. Simply visit the GitHub page, download the APK file, and install it. You might see a Google Play Protect warning because it's built with an older Android version, but it's safe to install. APS3E is a newly developed PS3 emulator with a promising future. I believe it has the potential to become one of the best emulators. The development team has confirmed that it will be ad-free, and they plan to open source it soon. Unlike other PS3 emulators like Olympus and Anstation, which have significant issues with game compatibility, I believe the developers released the app in a hurry. APS3E is still in its early stages of development and even lacks a proper logo. There are several issues that need to be addressed before it becomes a reliable PS3 emulator for Android. The app itself is quite basic. With no options for resolution settings, API selection, FPS adjustments, or control customization. When running any game, the emulator takes a significant amount of time to compile shaders. Additionally, if the screen turns off, the emulator crashes. However, once the shaders are compiled, the games become playable. The controls function well, but I couldn't find any options for customization. Currently, games run at full resolution and there is no option to lower it for better performance and smoother gameplay. I was only able to play small games or demo versions, while larger 3A titles failed to load. This emulator still requires a lot of development, and the developers need to address these issues. Users may lose hope in its progress. 